draw a line. So let's go to our desk here, all right? And we're going to draw a giraffe, okay? And we will be drawing a giraffe in this particular uh, scene right here, okay? So make sure that you get the one with the mountain on the right side, okay? If we look closely here, the one we want is the mountain on the right side and the tree on the right side. And then you got the very tiny tree on the bottom left here, okay? Should be that one there, all right? And this is what we're gonna do, use to draw our giraffe. And this is going to be a lot of fun. Again, you're gonna start out with a lighter color. Now last time I used green, I believe. This time around, I'm gonna use a different color to start off. I'm gonna use this color right here. Alicia, what color is this here? Can you see what color this yeah, is? Yeah, it's, it's blue. That's blue, that's right. And how would you say blue? In, uh, in German? Blau. Blau, all right. Okay, so we're gonna use a lot of blau today. All right, so we're gonna use blau. And we're going, once again, to use a lot of kreis and oval to uh, actually construct our giraffe. So let's go here to the top. We're gonna actually start with a head. So let's go to the top of the paper here. And I'm gonna draw a very, a lot smaller circle here. A lot smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a small circle right at the top here. Maybe like so, like, like this. Very small. Okay, right in, the, right in the middle of the two mountains, right here. Very small, okay? So we got one circle there. I'm gonna draw another one right underneath, like so. Right underneath. There you go, great job, great job. Now a couple things I wanna do here. You see this big circle here, like we did before. I'm gonna draw a line right in the middle. This will just help me figure out where all the eyes are gonna go, okay? And then draw a line straight down, all the way down, just so I figure out where the middle of this head is going to be. And for fun, and for fun, you see where this circle interconnects with the other circle? Right here, this point here? Right, that point there? I'm gonna draw a line straight up from that too. Same with the other side. And I'm gonna use these to help me find out where the eyes are, okay? Now, the giraffe needs to hear, so it needs some ears. Alicia, again, how do you say ears in, French, in uh, German? Oren. Oren, that's right, you told me that before, Oren. So I'm gonna draw this little teardrop shape up here, one on this side. Okay, you can see that, and one on the other side. We're just gonna add a couple bits of detail here. You see from this line we have here, now giraffes have these two little horn things that stick up here. So I'm gonna draw a little, little shape up here like so, that goes like that, right at the top, okay? And I gotta draw one on the other side. And I'm gonna draw a small little circle right at the tip of each of these. Okay, so that will be that little detail right there. Okay, let's go back. We figured out where the eyes are, so I'm gonna draw a little circle here, one on this side and one on this side, because that's where the eyes are gonna be. And like before, I'm gonna add a couple little circles here. I'm gonna draw a circle here. You see this circle that we have here? If I draw, if I start maybe like right here, we draw a little circle here, it's very small, very small. And then we're gonna draw another circle on the other side. And for fun, okay, as you see how, where this interconnects right here, this little point that we have here, I might go just a tiny bit lower and then draw a line that goes straight across here. Now that will be the giraffe's mouth. Okay, that will be where the giraffe's mouth will go. Okay, we might curve it a little bit, but we'll do that a little bit later on, okay? Now, a giraffe has a long neck, so this is what I'm gonna do. From this point right here, maybe from right here, I'm gonna draw a line that goes straight down to roughly around here. You see where this mountain ends here? Maybe like around here, that's where we want our point to end. So I'm gonna draw a straight line that goes right to there. And same on this side. 
gonna ver draw a very similar line that goes straight down to here. So this is the very, very long neck that the giraffe has. How do you say neck in German there, Alicia? Hals. What was that again? Sorry? Hals. Hals. Okay, that's a neck. <laughs> and from here, let's go ahead and start drawing the body. You see where these two points are? I'm gonna actually go ahead and draw a big, a big circle right underneath this. A little bit of an oval -y shape, like so. Okay, great job. I might do one more behind it. So maybe starting from roughly around this part of the circle right here, this point here, I'm gonna draw another small oval like here, like so, very small. Okay. And now I'm gonna draw kind of where the legs are. Okay, so watch very carefully. Um, I think the best way to do this, I'm gonna actually draw another oval that goes like so, a smaller one and a thinner one. Like this. Right underneath there. And this is gonna get interesting here. You just have to trust me. At this point here, I'm gonna draw two small circles, like this. One here, and one here. Okay? These will be actually the knees of the giraffe. In fact, why don't we do this right now, from this point where the two circles meet, I'm gonna make draw a line that goes straight up like so. So you can already see, those will be the two legs here. Okay. In fact, let's bring this line all the way down to roughly here. Okay, so I'll okay, show you all of this. There you go. All right. Now I'm going to draw another circle here, a bigger one at the bottom. One here like that, one here on the other side. And I'm going to draw a curved line. Watch very closely. I'm going to draw a line that goes from this part of the circle maybe a little bit over. Watch very carefully. I'm going to draw a curved line that goes like this. Okay, and I wanted to do the same on the other side. Okay, those will be the two legs. Okay. Now this back here, you see where the circle is? I might add, draw another circle right beside it. This will be one of the back knees here, because he has legs on the other side. And then draw a curved line that goes straight down like that. And then a curved line that goes straight down like this. And then draw another circle. That will be the back legs, okay? We'll work on that a little bit more, a little bit later on, okay? All right, let's go back up to the head, just seeing if there's anything else we need to do. Here's what I want to do here, because a giraffe kind of has a little bit of hair, all right? He has some hair. And Alicia, how would you say hair in German? Haare. Haare? Haare. I believe you. All right, so we'll draw some hair here, and we're gonna do that by Adding what I like to call whoop whoops. Okay, we've done this before. What are whoop whoops? Well, it's little zigzaggy lines. So watch very carefully, watch me do it, and then I want you to do it, and I want you to say it. Okay, okay Alicia? Watch very closely, Alicia, okay? Because after I do it, you have to do it, all right? Here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Watch very carefully. From this side, and I'm just gonna do it on this side here, I'm gonna go whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 your turn. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> right, fantastic job, Alicia. Great job. Okay, and I might add some zigzaggy lines on the top of the head here. If you go to the top of the head. I might add some zigzaggy lines here and some here. You don't have to be perfect because that's just a little bit of hair on the top of the giraffe's head, okay? So we constructed, we call these construction lines, we constructed our giraffe here. Let's go ahead and start detailing it up. At this point, you want to take a darker marker or a darker pencil, or even just press harder with the current pencil that you have. Again, I'm gonna start with my uh, fine liner here, this marker that I have. And let's go back up to this eye right here, this left eye here. And we're gonna start drawing it. We're gonna draw it very similar to the hippopotamus that we did here. I'm gonna start on one side here and draw a line that goes straight down right to here. Okay? And then draw the draw it in the other side like so. Okay? 
giving it that little bit of a, a thicker eyelash on that side, okay? And now inside, I might want to draw one circle like that, okay, so that you can see it. Now you can add that detail I talked about before. If you want to, you don't necessarily have to do it, so just add a little highlight there, and then I'm gonna fill it in. Okay, there you go, that's the one eye there. I might do a line right above it, like we did before with the hippopotamus here. Let me start from here, just do like a little curved line, just like this. It's kind of like an eyebrow, just like so, just like that, okay? Let's do the same on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and draw in this eyelash here. Okay, and then we'll outline the rest of the eye and then draw in the iris like so. Now I'm adding this highlight and filling it in. Again, you don't have to, but if you want to, there it is like that. Oops, it's a little higher. Just fix it up a little bit. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna add that little eyebrow right at the top. You start from here, go all the way down, like so. All right, now let's work on this little snout that he has here. Okay, let's first of all, I'm gonna do just a curved line where these two nostrils are. Okay, I'm not going all the way around, just halfway. Just halfway like that. And then I'm gonna draw one line right in the middle. See that, very small, very small line here on both sides, those will be the nostrils, okay? There you go. And let's draw a curved line on top here, that's for the top, top of the giraffe's snout there, okay? I might add, yeah, I might add one little line here. Watch very care carefully, I'm just gonna want do a little line here above this eye, maybe start from here and to here, just a very small line that goes like that, and same on the other side. Two small lines like that, okay? Now, let's go ahead and draw this mouth. Now watch very carefully, I might change up this mouth just a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna start from here, I'm gonna draw down right to roughly around here, close to the halfway mark. And then I'm gonna draw a line that kinda curves in right here. You see this dot that I'm making here, to here? And I might draw the line right up to where this intersects right here. Okay, back down to here and up. So watch very carefully, watch very carefully if you're confused. Watch how I do the smile here. The draw line goes down, over, up, down. My mark is running out a little bit. Up and around. See that? Now he's smiling a little bit. Smiling a little bit. Just for fun, I might add a little curve line right underneath. Like so. Okay? And then let's go ahead and draw in this bottom circle like this. Just like that. Great job, everybody. Great job. Now, let's go up to, um, okay, let's go up to the ears first, okay? So let's draw in our tear shape that we have here. I actually might outline it. These are a little thicker marker here. I'm gonna outline this little tear sheet that we have in here. Do the same on the other side. And then draw a curved line right inside here. Watch very carefully. You see where this end up? Maybe I'll even start like right here. I'll end up right here. Very close to here, a very similar line to this one. You're a curved line that goes all the way over like this. Okay, and we're gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, great job, great job everybody. Now, let's outline the face, okay? Watch very carefully. I'm gonna start from the bottom of this ear, but I'm gonna stop maybe right here, right under the eyes. You see the eye here? I might stop just a little bit under. See the eye here? I'm gonna stop right underneath here. Watch very carefully, draw a curve line just like so. Let's do the same on the other side. Okay, so I'm not going all the way around. You notice that, I'll show you why in a second. Okay? So from here to here, okay, and then we have from here to here, I wanna do this little curved line here. Watch very carefully, okay? Watch closely, maybe you watch me first and then you do it. 
I'm gonna draw a curved line that goes from here around like this. You see that? And let's do the same on the other side. So it curves like that. Okay. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and draw these little, uh, little horn details that he has here. So I'm gonna draw just one line that goes around like that, okay? So it's from here, up, around, and here. So watch very carefully. I'm gonna go up, around, and down. And let's do that over here, it's the same thing. I draw my four little points here. It's gonna go up, around, and down. Do it again, up, around, and down, and then connect it to the ear there. And then let's go ahead and add in our whoop whoops for the hair. So how you did these hair here, let's whoop it up. Go whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's a lot of whoops. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna do the top of the head here. I'm gonna do the thicker mark for the top. Add in the hair here. I might add a, a few more here. You can add as much hair to this as you want, really. Okay. And in fact, let's go ahead and draw in this hair that we have on the side here. Everyone whoop with me. Let's do it. Here we go. Ready? Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everyone's whooping at different times, but that's okay. That's the fun part. Uh, it, makes it, it makes everyone individual. That's great. Okay. How about Alicia? How, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> good. Were you whooping? <laughs> yes. Yes, good. <laughs> so, Alicia, we're going to make your favorite noise right now. Okay, I'm going to draw a point from here that goes down to here. Okay, let's just draw that first. We're going to go, ooh. ooh. <laughs> Great job. Great job, Alicia. How about the other side? We're going to draw from here, this point here, all the way down to here. Let's do that again. Woo. Whoa. Whoa. Here's some more. Whoa. All right. That's great now. Okay. Now, Alicia, we're going to do something special here. Okay. Now, we, I know we have two circles here, but we're actually not going to follow these. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to draw a line, curve line that goes from this point here that will actually go all the way down to the knee. Right there. Watch very carefully. Alicia, watch carefully, then I want you to do it, okay? Because you, okay. you make the sounds, okay? Here we go. We're gonna go, ooh, ooh, like that. Your turn. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sure yours looks great. There you go. Amazing job. So let's let's go ahead and draw this knee. Go from there to this point right here. It's gonna draw whoop, like that. Okay. And then we're gonna draw a line that goes down to this point right here. So down like so. All right. Great job, great job. Let's go to the other side. Let's go to the other side. We're gonna draw a curved line that starts from right here, and it's gonna end off maybe around here, to that point right there. Okay, watch very carefully. I gotta go, woo! Okay, you do it now, please. Okay, <laughs> good. You're so good at that, Alicia. So good, so good. And now, um, I think we're gonna start from this point right here, right underneath, maybe this point right here, we get to draw a line that goes from here down to the knee, around the knee, and all the way to here. Watch very carefully, go down, around, and down, like that. There you go, okay? Wonderful job. Now let's go to the back. Before we detail up this part, let's get this back part out of the way. I'm gonna draw a line that goes from this point here that will go all the way down to where we drew that knee. All the way down here, around to here, and down like that. Okay? Now let's worry about the front part of the legs. This is what we wanna do here. Okay, you see how we have the circle here? I'm gonna start from roughly around this point right here. I'm gonna draw a curved line that will go to about this point right here following this blue guideline that we have. So it's gonna go down and around like that, okay? And now I'm gonna draw the line that goes straight down. I'm not gonna worry about these, I'm just gonna draw a line that goes straight down all the way down like so. And actually bring it all the way down, right in under, right to the bottom here. You see how I brought it all the way down to the bottom? 
Okay, this is what I want to do. It's going to be a little different here. Down here at the bottom, I actually want to draw... You could curve it a little bit, or it could be even straight. I'm just going to draw a little curve line that goes like this. Same on the other side. Okay? And it goes out a little bit from the little circle that we drew there. And then from here, I'm going to draw a curve line to connect like so. You see how I, how I made that curve line? Got a little curve and straight down. So we're gonna, from here, we're going to draw a little curve and straight down here. So these are the giraffe's hooves or, or feet, okay? Now let's do the same on the other side, or the back leg here. The back leg here, I might go from here and then I draw a straight line down like so, and all the way across, all right? Now just a little detail we're gonna add here to the hooves here. If I go up, you see how the circle ends up here? I might go up just a tiny bit to here, okay? And I'm gonna draw a line that goes straight across like that, okay? Keep it simple. And then same with here, all the way across like that, all right? So this is what we're gonna do. There's um, one little thing I'd like to do, and then you could do this any way you want, okay? This is where you add your creativity, because like Alicia said before, giraffes have a lot of spots on them, okay? So you could draw these spots any way you want, okay? You don't have to follow me exactly, but you could add them any way you want. So I'm gonna go here and start drawing a lot of squares. Draw one there, maybe one there. So you can do as many as you'd like. And I'm gonna fill up his body with as many squares or even shapes as you would like. This is the fun part. There you go. Squares here. As many as you would like. You can vary the size, you can make very small ones. Very big ones. You could do the whole body, or I'm just gonna leave it at uh, certain parts of the body here. But you could put it all over the giraffe's body if you want. Really. Maybe add a little one here like this. Maybe I'll add some to the side of his face here. If you want. But do that, add as many as you would like. But for the most part, everyone, that is our giraffe. And you all did a wonderful job. Give yourselves a hand. Great job, everybody. Time to draw a 